Today, we're opening up a $300 Nerdy Newt Funko Pop Mystery Box. Not just a Funko Pop Mystery Box, this is a Mega Grail Mystery Box. It's even titled that. But before we do that box though, you know me, we got some appetizers we gotta do. This video is brought to you by ShopZobie.com. Zobie is the home of the first ever v -shop virtual celebrity shout out and autograph program. For one low price, you will get a celebrity to sign an item for you and give you a personal video message. Check out the shopzobie.com website and make sure to use my promo code KIX10 to save 10% off most everything on the website. Shopzobie.com is your number one source for authentic celebrity autographs. So I have before us our two Chrono Toy $15 Challenger Series Mystery Boxes. 15 bucks a piece. The odds to get out just a common pop is very high. You can get some grails out of these but they're few and far between but they are out there i've hit i think uh two grails out of probably 200 of these boxes like a one percent chance but it is possible some people get them but not very often here we go first one 15 bucks this is just to warm up the video kind of you know get the flow of the video going let's see if i can actually hit some good out of these cheap boxes It'd be awesome if i did so pretty much if these are in a pop protector you hit something big. No pop protector, you probably lost money. First one, no pop protector. And we have Silver Age All Might. At least the box looks like it's mint condition. Okay, let's I'm gonna look up the PPG value on the Whatnot app. Three dollars. Really? He's worth three dollars wow <laughs> not many pops only worth three dollars we found one that was worth three dollars that's really bad here we go warm up number two hopefully we get that out early lose money early so we can make bigger money on the bigger box no pop protector we have SS GSS Goku. That's actually a decent one. This is actually, I think, Hot Topic exclusive originally. This is the overseas sticker. I think it was a Hot Topic exclusive. Let's find out. On PPG, it's 20 bucks. So we spent 30. I got back total of $23. So at least this one, I actually, I got back more than what I paid. So that, that that's a positive. That's a positive. It's like these are not in pop protectors, but don't worry. Whenever I sell these pops, They'll be put into Send Bucks Pop Pop Shield Pop Protectors, the official pop protector of the Franchise Kicks YouTube channel. It's time for the $300 Mega Grail box. Let's talk about this before we start, though. Let's kind of see, see what we're opening up here. This was sold, I think it was on January 17th. I'm looking at the Instagram page for it. So this is the Collector's Mega Grail Mystery Box, limited to only 30 boxes. Only made 30 boxes. Top hits, Batman Dark Knight Rises, Patina, LE 480, Freddy Funko's Kylo Ren, LE 400, and Metallic Ghost Rider, LE 400. Four to six pops in every mystery box. You're guaranteed to have at least one pop worth a minimum of $100 plus. So at least one pop in here will be at least $100 pop, which is kind of considered a grail. You're only guaranteed $250 back. So you can lose 50 bucks a box. So you can actually get out a pop with 100 bucks and still lose money on this box. But three lucky people will get some three pretty big grails. Fingers crossed, I love it to be me. But here we go, 300 bucks. I'm a huge fan of the higher price point mystery boxes because if you want to hit grails, if you want to have a chance at those, you know, exclusive thousand dollar kind of pops, you've got to spend big money to possibly win big money per se. But do not buy these expensive boxes if you cannot afford to lose your money because you can lose money on these boxes. You can lose quite a bit of money. If you spend 300 bucks in this, you can actually lose 50 bucks. So buy wisely <laughs> here we go with the box the tape of course says the nerdy newt everything is still all sealed up has not been opened up by anybody double checking all sealed looks good let's go oh you and you you would chose your box pretty much when it comes to this you just choose the first box available 
because you know boxes will sell out so just just choose your box and just keep on moving like with me when i ride by three four or five boxes the first one that pops up i add the cart just check it out that's pretty much how i do it here we go the card right on top with the nerdy newt okay feel around a little bit come on hard stack Okay, there's only four pops in here, and they are all in soft protectors. Four pops, no, no hard stacks. So, no hard stacks. Obviously, we did not hit one of, one of the top grails because if you don't have a hard stack, then pretty much you know you lost. <laughs> so you automatically know right off the bat you lost. So all these four pops, I have no idea which one's going to be like my grail hit. So we'll just start grabbing them and uh, hope for the best. My goal now, since I did not get out of hard stack, is just get my money back at least. At least get my money back. There's no guarantee. Here we go. First, first one. The back says, Friends, Chandler Bing. This is the older one. This is, of course, this is going to be vaulted. This is 20, looks like 17. I don't think this is super expensive. Don't think it is. If it is, it's going to shock me. But Chandler, box condition actually looks pretty good on it. It actually has a couple of window creases right there. So, a couple small issues. But these pops weren't guaranteed to be mint or anything. Some of these could have some light damage on them. Here we go, next one. Undertaker. Okay, that is the original Undertaker. Like the original pop that they had come out. This actually has a little bit of value to it. I don't know if it's worth like a hundred bucks though. I doubt it is. I know the Hulk Hogan in this one. Like that one's worth like 500 bucks or something. Like something crazy. This one came out in 2014. Now this actually, this 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 might be the grail in this box. This might be the grail. I'm not 100% sure how much this thing's worth. But this might be the grail hit. I'm going to pull it out just to look at it. This is not bad. It has a few light creases on it, but it's an older pop, so that's to be expected. But the original Dead Man pop right there, that might be the Grail hit. I won't be shocked if, if that is if that is the Grail. Here we go. Next one. Number three. I was looking at me. Azula. This is a GameStop exclusive. It just restocked overseas, if I remember correctly. It restocked, yeah, in uh, late last year, late like September of 20. It hurt value a little bit, so this I think this is actually going to be the most expensive one. Because before the restock, I actually had a couple of these. Before the restock, they were like 130, 140, I think it was. So this is probably going to be the hundred dollar plus pop right there. But here we go, last one. My whole goal right now, at least break even. <laughs> at least get my money back. Last one. We have a bloody protector. Oh, we have Marvel Blade. Never had a blade before. That's the first blade I've ever gotten. I actually wouldn't mind keeping this. I actually get it signed by uh, Wesley Snipes. That'd be kind of cool, actually. The original blade in the movies. It's actually in pretty good condition. That's pretty good. That's the first blade I've, I've ever had. Man, this actually might be the girl. I actually don't even know. It's either Undertaker, the Azula, or Blade is going to be. It's going to be like the Grail. But let's find out. So first pop blade, he's only worth thirty one dollars. Really, that'd be worth more than that. So blade is not the grail. Chandler Bing did not expect this. One hundred and ten dollar PPG value. Maybe this one actually might end up being the grail, the one that I think was the grail. But this is actually worth one hundred and ten. This is actually worth over the guaranteed value for one pop in the box. This actually this might be the grail. Right now we're at 141 bucks. And Undertaker is only worth 65. He actually, I thought he he might might have been the Grail, but nope, I was wrong. He's only 65 dollars. That's got us right now at 206. So last one, the Azula, the actual the GameStop exclusive is worth 130. The special edition says it's only worth 60. But is a sticker really going to affect the value by over half? Probably not. But anyway, we'll just go by PPG. So PPG said, what would I just say? 60. So that gives us only a total of 
266. I'll guarantee it was 250, but honestly, this might go for at least a hundred. Honestly, at least a hundred. Because some people will they they just want this pop for their collection. They don't want, want to spend the 130 for like the GameStop exclusive. I bet they pay a hundred for the special edition sticker. PPG, it says 266, but I think with these, I could probably get closer to 300 bucks for all these whenever I sell it because these will be sold in a future whatnot auction. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Franchise Kicks. You'll find out what my next auction is, and these will probably be in that auction. All, all four of these. Actually, I'm not not Blade. I'm going to keep Blade. I'm happy. I should get my money back. Breaking even. All right? See you next time.